South Africa's unemployment rate now stands at over 34%. How bad is it and can you see us solving this? That's a very big question. Um, it's been with us for 10, 15 years, maybe even longer. Um, by all accounts, it's the highest unemployment rate in the world, the highest um, so, um, youth unemployment rate in the world. And when we look at our indicator of poverty, which is food insecurity, there's a very good chance that the problem is actually worse than it is. Um, the other contentious issue I've been sharing with audiences for over five years now is that we don't have an unemployment problem, we have an economic disempowerment problem. Um, so when we look at how do we get to this, it's a deep systematic social issue that we've got to almost unpack and, re and, and redo. Um, so the old, the old way where we go to school, get educated, get a job, try and climb up the corporate ladder, retire, die, is linear. And that linear model no longer serves us. Because the linear model says, okay, we're going to have a thousand people coming to a company at the bottom of the rung, and a hundred will become managers, and ten will become directors. Um, and the myth that's peddled is that, that someday you'll get to the top, but do the maths, one in a hundred will become a manager, and one in a thousand will get to the top. Um, and yet we continue to educate our, our, our children that way, the, the, the economic model stands that way. And so it's a linear model. And that linear model has led to an increasing number of, of people looking for work and not finding work. Today, if you look at the statistics, for every 100 job seekers, there's going to be two. So it's a big problem. But when you take the problem and you say, is it really the problem? And you add all the people into that pot who are disadvantaged, not looking for work, and a large percentage of the um, working population who at, at any time have got a job, so not in that unemployment list, but are still living in the subsistence area, they're still struggling to make ends meet. That model is dead. That model is defunct now. We've got to do something different. Um, so what is the solution? The solution is actually changing the narrative. And how do we change the narrative? The narrative is saying, okay, let's look at something in which everybody can participate. So the narrative has got to be peddled to people now, not the false one of a linear, go to school, job, work, die model. You've got to look at something that's more circular, and I like to look at it as a 360-degree people model. So instead of saying to people, okay, let's walk into the old economy, and then work your way up the ladder, we'll go on the linear path, we say to ourselves, okay, here's a different option. Look at a model in which you create the economy around you. And when you stand in the center of your economy, you've got 360 degrees worth of opportunity around you. The universe is abundant. The universe is hugely magnificent of opportunity. And that mindset needs to change into that space where you start creating opportunities around you. So now a million people have got a circular economy or a 360 degree economy around them. And they're bumping into each other. So I'm saying to you, okay, what do you do? Oh, you do that. Oh, I do this. Okay, what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to do something together. Hey, what are we going to do? Are oh, we going to do it at midnight tonight? That's great. Let's get on and do this gig. So all of a sudden, the narrative changes. And we start to look at opportunities in a 360 degree way. And instead of being in this old linear pattern, which is creating an ever number of people trying to find a job, and an ever number increasing number of people trying to find opportunities in the space that no longer has any space for them, the only way, the logical way out, is to take people and say, now you're going to be creative. So we, we, we gain from a situation, not only from linear to 360 degree opportunity. We gain from the old thing is, what's in it for me? Oh, I want a job. Please, government, give me a job. Please, corporation, give me a job. That's linear. But now we go to a thing called, what contribution can I make? And so now what contribution can I make is creative. And you need to go into step into that space. And that's what Dream Exchange is all about. We've, we've created a platform, um, which I shared recently. It's, it's a trampoline in which you go into that 360 degree space and you start to create. And you start to look for opportunities yourself. You don't wait for the job to happen. It's never gonna happen any longer. Two in a hundred will get a, a job being a job seeker, but now, you have to create it yourself. It's a huge mindset, and we've got to start sharing that with the younger generation. We've got to share it with the generations who haven't got work any longer. And just got to make sure that's the narrative. There's great opportunity. So now we're constantly looking at the 360 as a new narrative and as a new opportunity. 
360 degrees opportunity around you and you're bumping into other people who are doing that. And Dream Exchange is the platform that says, right, get onto the platform and, and, and trample in off it. Make things start to happen for yourself. Lovely example we posted on our social media um, site, sites and as well as um, our YouTube channel recently was a gent who lost his job. Okay, so he was in the linear economy. He was got a job. He lost it. What did he do? He was in the car wash situation. Okay, now he started his own. He's got a scooter, and he's going to actually do what we call washing cars on demand. And he's got a great vision. He wants to rather wash people's Ferraris because that's the car he wants to do. Now, through that vision of him in his 360 degree opportunity, new economy for himself, he's going to say to himself, okay, right, while I'm doing cars, I could be delivering, etc., etc. So Dream Exchange is a platform in which 360 degree opportunity can start to happen for you. And we'd love you all to come on, share it with your friends, and make sure many people register that can help each other, share with each other. So a 360 degree people's economy is de definitely the way to go. And that's where there's unlimited possibility from the universe, unlimited opportunity for yourself. But you have to be creative. You have to walk into it. And you have to ask yourself the question, what contribution can I make to society to make it a better place? Thank you.